Well, let's talk about C sharp interfaces. So first of all, what is an interface? Well, it's kind of like a class. It's an object with a name and the object type typically starts with a capital I. So things like I interface name. It is a list of required methods and properties. It is a guarantee that any class implementing the interface will have the required components and it allows a class object implementing the interface to be used in interface variables. So what happens? Well, you create this interface and the interface tells you which methods you need in order to be, well, a valid interface. And then you create a class that implements that interface and that class has to have all of the required methods. And that makes the guarantee. And then if you create any of those class objects, then you can use those in different places and interchangeably with other class objects that are implementing the same interface. So if I have a, an I interface variable X, X could be equal to any class object that implemented the interface. The basic syntax for creating the interface is you type in public interface, the interface name, and then in open curly braces, you have type and method name sets for all of the method names with parameters. And then you have type property name with the getters and setters for any properties that you want for that interface. Interfaces can inherit other interfaces. So you can have a public interface, the interface name you were defining, and then you have a colon in order to inherit the interfaces. So you inherit interface one, two, three, any other interfaces, just a comma separated list of interfaces you are inheriting from. And then inside of your curly brace block, you can add any additional members you would like to have for that specific interface you are creating. For classes inheriting interfaces, you do public class, the class name, and then you have all of the interfaces that it is inheriting from. So once again, a comma separate list of interfaces to inherit from. And then you have to implement all of the interface methods inside of that class. There are a couple of common .NET interfaces you can find. There's the iClonable, iComparable, iConvertible, iEnumerable, iCollection, iList, iDictionary, all kinds of interfaces and so you can use those so let's go ahead and jump into some code right now and let's do something so i have this person data project with nothing really in it and i want to create an interface so i'll do Control shift a for add and i will go ahead and add let's see Let's actually go into the project first. Control Shift A for add, and I'll do an interface. And I'm going to do people. So what can we do with people? Well, let's say we can do uh, emailable. So I'll do an I emailable, I emailable interface. So I click add there, and this I emailable interface is going to be something. Make a nice little public, public. I emailable interface and um, it's going to have one method that says uh, get email address. So I'll do a string get email address and it's just going to return that and that's what it says. So if anything that implements the I emailable interface has to have a get email address method inside of it. So I'll now go ahead and create another one. So I'll do control shift A for add a new class right here. And this one is going to be my person class. So person. And the person class, nice public person class. And it's going to implement the I emailable method right there, or not method, but interface. Now it's saying there are problems with this. So it doesn't inter implement the interface correctly because it doesn't have the get email address. And under my show potential fixes, I can 
implement the interface, which it'll cause to just throw in this method right here. Uh, additionally, people might have things like names. So I will do a private uh, string name. And I'll have a, well, I'll just have that set there. Maybe I'll actually make it public. So make it public. And then I'll put a getters and setters right here. Get, set. And maybe it has um, an email address. So do private email or string email address. And so when I do the get email address, what I could do is just return that email address right here. Return email address and then I have this implemented what if I want to add something else maybe I don't want to do just the email but maybe I want to do I clonable as well I clone so if I do I clonable it says wait I'm missing something so I go down and show potential fixes and I can implement the interface and suddenly it has this clone method in there well, how do I create a cloned object of this person? So if I call the clone object, what it should do is create a copy of itself. And you can see that I have both a name and an email address inside of myself. So if I want to clone it, I have to create a new object and then pass it, somehow get the name and email address there. And so because I can't really set the email address here, I might need a setter as well. So maybe I'll do a public string set email address and I probably need a string uh, address and then I can use this to set my email address equals address all right so that allows me to make it possible to clone now inside of this clone object i need to be able to create a new object right here so this is a person object so I do person let me do p for my new object and it's going to be a new person so i create this object and then i have since the name is public i can do p dot name equals this dot name and I can do p dot set email address and pass in p dot email address so I can set that and then I can just return my object p this allows me to clone myself. Obviously, if I were to then need to make other stuff, I'd have to update stuff and uh, make it work better. Um, it says person set email address, not all code paths return a value. Oops, I probably want this as a void. All right. So at this point, I have now created a person object that is inheriting from the I emailable and the I clonable interfaces. And you can see this is how I created my I emailable interface right here with these object. Well, this, this method right here. And that should probably give you a general overview of how to work with and create interfaces.